we're big fans of the way uh, that villages here uh, put their ben, uh, their big trash things, with a, oh god, oh it's hard to pick this up, with a nice image of their village, and we thought the ones in Kotinyak, oof, which look like rocks were really cool. And this is in the, on the big island off of uh, uh, Ier Porquerolles. Uh, oh, I'm carrying a lot of bags, sorry. And uh, my spouse asked me to be sure to note these, even though they're all dirty and everything. And I just saw him. He was returning his bike that he's rented for the afternoon. And I just spent the afternoon on the, the Silver Beach, La, La Plage Argent. Oh. And, uh, you know, people would think we were crazy because uh, we came out here on a day when storms were warned and it's very gray. But the weather's very warm. People are only wearing light sweaters and windbreakers, which is prudent anyway, even in the heat. And it's very warm. I would say it's about 77 degrees Fahrenheit. And I just hate blasting sun and heat and crowds. And there are just a lot of people here because it's the end of the day and people are leaving the beaches. He rented a bike for the afternoon, which he bought with the price of the ferry ticket. And it was 50 euros for us both to come and go on the ferry and for him to have a bike for the afternoon. However, I found it extremely pleasant and I didn't mind at all being on my own for the afternoon in an unknown place. Uh, I went walking into the island alone. Uh, the paths were pretty well indicated and I found a nice beach and I swam twice and I was sitting and really enjoying it. I wasn't cold at all. The water was great. I really liked it. You know, the beach was unsupervised, but it was separated and protected and a very silvery sand there. Very shallow water, very calm. Whew. I'm pretty tired. It's completely normal, especially after being in the water. So this is Ile de Porquerol off Isère and there are many islands, several, I think three islands. And outside of the village areas there's no smoking permitted for fire hazard reasons and you have to be very careful about trash and stuff like that. But there is the La Plage des Grottes here where nudism is mandatory and clothing is optional in the village here. You know, if it's a little bit chilly or you really need to be wearing something you can, but I guess otherwise you don't have to. It's pretty laid back. Let's see. Oh God, this goes to a lot of places. Lots of ferry boats here. And this goes back to Tour Fondu which is where we're going and we have our tickets already so I'm going to wait for my spouse here 
we're glad we came out here. We still have a little bit more of the vacation. Um, but I felt we shouldn't wait until the last minute to come out here because this is one of the prime things that you do when you're in Ier. On the Côte d'Azur, on the French Riviera, in the Var Département. And let's see what it says here. The city of Yer is proud of its outstanding natural resources and therefore applies in this matter a very strong protection and promotion policy with its partners, among which the Porco National Park. Okay, it's making the archipelago a sustainable development model for all Mediterranean islands with a sustainable soft water supply before 2014, generalized green transportation on Porco Island, a perfect balance between human activities and protected nature by providing paper shopping bags, installing dry toilets, electric cars, dot dot dot. So I really enjoyed it.